Welcome back, everybody. Try Before We Die, the whiskey review show where we don't know where we're drinking, but we'll tell you what you th what we're thinking. How's it going, Malcolm? Same as usual. Waiting for a bottle. Let's do it. Waiting for a bottle? Let's do it. Why don't you push the button today? Let's see what bottle it is. Hundreds of bottles, but the magic box asks us to pull bottle... Ooh, 31. 31. Right behind me. We're 15 across. 15, 31. This is a whiskey that I had an opportunity with our sound man and editor, Kevin, to drink at the New Hampshire Distillers Show. The Jura Sevenwood. Oh. All right. Mal, why do you think this is called the Sevenwood? Well, if I had to freaking guess, maybe seven different casts? I think that's the idea. Hmm. They haven't made it super easy for me. Let's oh. see. Do you have your little knife thing? I must have something. I see it. I like the way that you have a fire detector right there open with yeah. no battery in it. Yeah, you don't need those things. Last time I checked, there were no bottles of this left in New Hampshire. Because you guys drank it already? In fact, we did some special ordering at the distiller's show to get some. We liked it. And um, we ordered two, and they only delivered one. So I actually had to pick this bottle up out of state. Oh, that wow. was in there. Ready? I like the Jiraz. Remember when Jiraz 21 was like a real favorite around here? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Good Lord. It's like Kazakh Dune. <laughs> <laughs> I really love the Jiraz bottle shape. Something tells me from memory that this was in part due to the way they would package them to ship from the Isle of Jiraz. Okay. Right, because almost all their early delivery, in fact, all of it, unless it was on the island, was by ship. And so this helped avoid breakage. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see. What do you think? This way or this way for maximum gurgle? The other way. This way? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here it goes. No gurgle. Yeah, it was a little bit. There was just this one little like hiccup. Hello. Like, little burp. <laughs> Get this cork. We'll go back in. Okay. Get him cask. This is this is so this is the seven wood coming in at forty two percent ABV. That's an odd number. Okay. It's an even number, but it's an odd number. You don't see it. Influenced by seven select French and American oak barrels for a rare balance and depth with a hint of smoke. Matured in American white oak ex bourbon, limousine, um, Transois, Allier. Voige, Jupil, and Le Bertanger barrels. What did you do with the last one that you just said? I don't know. Okay. I yeah. did take three years of French in high school, so um, yeah, that right. was like in 1946. So I probably yeah, ruined it all. Yeah, you did do a bad job there. Yeah. All right. And anything on the back, we should know. We're capped. Boy, I wonder if they have contests in Scotland labeling to say how small they can make the letters. Sort of save money. Influenced uh, mahogany golden color with an aromatic fusion of coffee, ginger spice, and a hint of chocolate, followed by a caramelized peach, chewy licorice, and candied orange with a hint of um, sea spray and smoke in the aftertaste. Wow. The 42 ABV Jura 7 Wood. This is a newer release from Jura. Um, Jura has a range of releases. Um, I've had one small taste of it at the Distillers Show. Uh, both Kevin and I liked it that uh, he got the one bottle left in New Hampshire and I went out of state to get a bottle for the bar. Well, we'll be interested to see how you like it this time down. Yes, with a fresh palate and not hundreds of people in a noisy atmosphere. And probably a larger pour. Yeah, and a larger pour for sure. All right, so, so color. I 
I do like that light mahogany color. Mm -hmm. uh, that's what I would. Now, did you know what's worse? Talking to your friends during a movie, talking back to the screen during a movie, or talking on your cell phone during a movie at the theater? I would say talking on your cell phone. All three are rude. All right. 50 things every young gentleman should know. Then why do you just say they're all rude? <laughs> I didn't know until I got there. Is your, uh, here it is, the seven wood. An experimental whiskey employing a veritable forest of cask types. No age statement. Um, a funky, heavy character. Um, they're saying it's suggestive of some of the characteristics of the Jura 18 year old. Um, aromas of wet newspaper, blackberry <laughs> juice, asparagus, out of season oranges, and cereal that's been sitting in milk for a while. How do you how do you justify saying <laughs> wet newspaper <laughs> or cereal that's been in milk for a while? That one um, I can understand, but wet newspaper? Green apple peels mingle with cherry cough drops. That's just the nose. Um, a savory roasted meat. Uh, at first, it's all sweetness. This is the palate, caramel candy, grape hard candy, spiced cola, black cherry candy, orange gummies, and peppercorn. Uh, the finish comes roaring back, sweet and cola-like, with mentholated cough syrup, milk chocolate, and black cherry fruit. So this is being... Tasted blind, you might not even identify it as scotch. So they're putting this right up there as being a little bit complex. Well, they're saying there's a lot going on. I agree with this This mid-range gold. The bottle declares a mahogany. I feel like we're certainly in a medium to darker gold. Or this is clearly a medium amber if this was a maple syrup. Yeah, it's got some color. Yeah. So why don't we see what it smells like? I love it when we can pick up some cherry notes. That's a favorite of mine. You got something to say? I hate to say it, but I catch that wet newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it's um, there's not a lot on the nose for me. It's not punchy. You know, I'm not going to... I, I, I'm going to rephrase that for you. There was, because there's like all these little bits, mm -hmm. you can't really pick out anything, so you just get this right. one oof up your yeah. nose. Yeah, and I, would, I wouldn't say the oof up my nose. I would say sort of this one. Yeah, nothing remarkable on the nose that is demanding attention or, you know, that you really are picking out something. Maybe pear? There, there could be something candied in there. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But it's not overpowering. No, so. not at all on the nose. It, it is... There is something lingering, Maybe and not in a foul sense, but in a, what is that? Would you, okay, so let's just throw this out there. Yep. Would you say those barrels that they used for this were wine barrels? I think they said they were all French wine barrels. Okay, so. Or the American oak and then French wine. So that's the case. Maybe it's the wine. Yeah. And I'm not familiar with a lot of those wines, right? Or no. Or maybe any of those wines. But maybe that's what that smell is, that, that wine smell. You're right. Right. It's, it's certainly not very potent. No. Right. Let's see what it tastes like. I recall liking this. Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to look at your face when you drink it. The Jura 7 wood. We'll let you know what we're thinking. Very whiny in the front of the mouth. Like you. <laughs> Touche, if we're going to stay with this French theme. Um, I get the cola. As you said it, I got it. But before then, it was the cherry. And it, isn't that a, like a, a song, a, a cherry cola? Like a, yeah. A, uh, the Kinks. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there's a cherry cola in here. I could definitely take the cola. And so I understand what the book is saying about if you were blind tasting this, is, is, is this a scotch whiskey? What is this? Is this an aperitif? Actually, that's weird that you say because now I'm thinking about it. Yeah. 
I don't I didn't think of this as being a scotch because it isn't really giving me the, that scotch feel. That wine is so on the front side, whatever which barrel of the wine. It's wine forward. There's a cherry cola in there. The uh, the aroma um, not foul on the nose, but there's this lingering odd sense on the nose. It's almost like there's this element of carbonation. It's like a carbonated cherry cola. And that, that uh, maybe or it's, a, a cherry cola that's going flat, but it still has yes. a little life. Yes, and I would say, uh, having looked at my the legs on my glass, yeah. there is a bit of a a coat coating mm -hmm. a covering of your mouth it doesn't just disappear you've got some mouth feel right okay you know and it, this is i agree with you this is a really good drink all right so you're liking this i'm really liking this right because it's it it, it gives you enough to be like okay i can pick up this now i can't find the licorice but that but right. doesn't mean it's not there but I, the taste of it is is really really enjoyable and I'm a big, I mean, I drink Coke all the time anyhow, so that cola part of it, I'm thoroughly enjoying. It is so interesting that it is this cherry cola. And and maybe a hint of smoke, maybe, I mean, a, a, if it is, it's, a hint it's right, a right, that you've missed and somebody's like, you didn't get the hint I gave you. Um, it really isn't resonating as a single malt scotch whiskey. This is like a different kind of drink. You know what this is more like? If I was to go stick my neck out and be freaking mm -hmm. completely taken to town by people, it's more like a bourbon. Interesting. I don't know enough about bourbons because I stay away from them. It's not my cup of tea. What, what bourbon would you think this is? Like a Jefferson's? This is a Heaven's Door? What are we doing here? I know it's not a Jack Daniels. No, like a, I would say this is like along the lines of like a Basil Hale. Okay. All right. Because it doesn't really feel like a scotch. In it the it sense, really doesn't feel like a scotch. In the sense that I'm not really... And that's not negative. No, 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 right. no. By no, no, no words. This is right. a very good drink. And they've disguised it. And they put it into this package that has all these different flavors. Yeah. But the standout flavor for me is that cola. And not that I would ever do a Basil Hayden with freaking Coke, but I would definitely do a bourbon with a Coke. Are you saying that this might be a nice whiskey to mix with a cola? I don't know if I would have the guts to do that, being the fact that it's a single malt. When you buy a bottle of whiskey, it's yours to do with as you please. Correct. And it would be an interesting take. It would be interesting to freaking add a splash of cola to this. I don't like soda. You know that about Correct. me. I don't drink any sodas. I'm not a, a cocktail man. I, I'm not... I'm a single malt scotch whiskey drinker. I enjoyed it at the whiskey so show. It was a chaotic environment. There was a lot happening. It's not an overpowering whiskey, and I think that's one of the reasons I enjoyed it that, that evening. Um, it's a fine drink. I like it. I'm not sure I would give it to somebody and say, this is a scotch whiskey as an introduction whiskey because it's not showing up in any of some of those classic flavors. Agreed. This is, my understanding is the Jura 7 Wood is part of an experimental series they're doing. And so the question is, is uh, sort of like uh, Glenn Fittix has their ex experimental series. They'll, they'll, the wine cast, the IPA cast, the Fire and Cane, the Double X, right? So Jura's done something here too. So it's interesting what they've created it doesn't ring as a as a single malt scotch whiskey, but it does have some interesting stuff going on. And by by no means, I would say it's not something palatable. Oh, it's not bad. I mean, it's it's really got some really good mm -hmm. tasting notes. Right, right. It just shows what um, it just shows the. I don't want to say the courage. It just shows the curiosity of the distiller. And Jura, what, what region is Jura from? Well, the Isle of Jura would be okay. the islands region. So it's an islands region, right? right? But it is in the neighborhood of uh, Campbellton and Isla. It's his own little island. Okay. Right, but it's the islands. Okay. Yep. So I would be hard-pressed to freaking say this was from a, a specific distillery. If you were to say, hey, where's this from, Mel? And I'd be like, 
I have no idea. Right. Now, granted, I'd probably have that over like 90% of these. Yeah. But but, yeah. but if you said, hey, look, w w where would you think this is from? I would have a hard time saying, hey, this is, this is a scotch. If I had to pick, I would have landed Lowland or Island. All right. It's not a Speyside. It's not a Highland. It's not an Isla. And it's not a Campbellton. That just leaves us Lowland or Isla. Islands. Interesting. Yep. yep. Turns out it's islands. All right. All right. The Jura, the Seven Wood, 42% ABV. There's a whole lot of stuff happening here that is sort of... Um, interesting. Inter interesting. That's interesting. Perfect word. All right. Let's see what the crew has in store for us today. <laughs> do you want it or do you want me to do it? I'll take this one. All right. It's because it, it's just because the way it starts. <laughs> Pain makes you stronger. Tears make you braver. Heartbreak makes you wiser. And whiskey makes you not remember any of that crap. Cheers. This is raw seven wood. How does it go? Uh, just like a, a cherry c -c 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 cola. Uh, Da, 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 Lola. Uh, right, I was gonna go with Yoda. <laughs> but you think we sang that song? So back to this. The, yep. Fantastic, fantastic drink. That's I, a, such a powerful word. Fantastic. I right? mean, it just has like this this really good freaking feel about it. I don't feel like I'm I'm having to play a game. It's a good drink. Is it a good single malt Scotch whiskey? I think that's my question. And I guess that would be the definition. Of how are you? Yeah. It is a single malt. It is. So you have to say it's so. a good single malt. You have to. But because of the way it tastes, yeah. you struggle with saying, hey, well, this is this a single malt. This is a single malt, malt Scotch whiskey. Right. It doesn't really do the things that I really want there a single malt so to do. There is so much wine in here. There is such this present cherry cola. Uh, there is n no burn. It's almost like a single malt light. Like, not quite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, right. You know, we're, yeah. we're trying. It's like yeah. those mixed drinks that people come up with let these me, days. Let me ask you this, and we'll leave it with this. When would you drink this? Anytime, anywhere. 